Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for being with us here tonight on this uh, first annual Houston event to honor the men and women of the Coast Guard. Every Coast Guard unit that serves the Houston area is vitally important, but tonight we're going to highlight two crews from Air Station Houston for their heroic efforts last summer that resulted in the rescue of seven. On behalf of my crew and the crew of the 6520, um, thank you very much to the Board of Trustees and the Coast Guard Foundation for this recognition and this award. All of us up here on stage, um, we join the Coast Guard, we join this wonderful organization for the opportunity to do what you saw us do in this video. Uh, we train hard, we dedicate ourselves, just in case that call comes in. Uh, and this particular night it did for our two crews. And, uh, and thankfully we were able, able to uh, reunite uh, the families back together and, and they're safely at home tonight. And we got to be witness tonight to extraordinary young men and women. What you, I mean, I, I hope all of you understand what a privilege it is for you to be in this building tonight, to be in this room with legitimate American heroes. The waterways of commerce and trade has long been part of the story of energy. Across all points along our nation's vast shoreline, any time, any day, men and women of the United States Coast Guard consistently demonstrate an unwavering commitment to protect the public, the environment, and our national security interest. At ExxonMobil and Sea River Maritime, we are deeply thankful for your sacrifice and those of your comrades and your service. It's great to see the banner of the Coast Guard Foundation in the Lone Star State. When you hear about our air crews at Air Station Houston navigating through thunderstorms and lightning, and there might be hail on that, and these are very light and fragile aircraft. They're carbon fiber airframes. And a lightning strike and a hail strike can take that aircraft down. And they could have very easily turned around and said, it's not safe to go out. And so I don't know if those air crews sang a hymn or not, but they decided to press on. And if they did not press on, then seven people may not have survived to live that day. God bless the Lone Star State, God bless our United States Coast Guard, and God bless the United States of America. Thank you, and Semper Fox. <laughs>